and he broke me spoon. Morning, everybody. Yeah, did the sheep yards doing some sheep work today. <clears throat> Brought all the sheep in and we're drafting them off. Gonna draft off the lambs from the ewes, uh, weighing them off. Um, yeah, and we'll separate a few more other ones yet and have a look at a couple in there. But I'll get Dad to explain exactly what we're doing. All right, I just got Dad here. <clears throat> just before we start, we're I'm just gonna get him to explain exactly what we're doing and just say about weaning and uh, yeah, what we what it is and what goes on about it. Good morning, viewers on this bloody foggy, drizzly morning. We're going to do some sheep work here this morning. we got all our ewes and lambs, our woolly lambs, and our uh, white Suffolk lambs here together. We're going to draft them off from their mothers. We're going to wean them, because in about another month's time, we're going to put the rams out with these ewes again to get them in lamb for an ongoing season. So we've got to take the lambs off, let the ewes have a fresh pick and build up a little bit. And then within another month, two, probably these woolly lambs like this bloke here, we'll probably have to shear them because their wool will be getting long enough and uh, uh, it'll bring them into line with the rest of the shearing at the end of the year. So we're going to muck about and do that this morning and sort out a few other stragglers that might be here as well. So How do you like decide when you it's time to wean them? Oh, yeah, some, some, it depends on the individual. These probably have been here a little bit longer than what they should be, but... Uh, probably three months, I suppose, you can put them out, so we'll have to put the mothers away out the back somewhere from them, um, and leave the lambs close handy so they sort of settle down a bit before we put them in another paddock out the back, so that's what we're going to try and achieve today. <laughs>
So I'm sort of midway through the drafting at the moment. Um, we've been going for probably an hour or so, a couple of hours maybe. Um, so behind me here, we've got the weathers. And they're just drafted off in their separate group. They'll go out by themselves, or I think, or maybe with the lambs. Yeah. Um, got the, all the lambs there. Then up in that furthest yard, all the ewes. So we're going to go through the lambs again. Um, there's a couple of ones that have a small amount of fly strike on them. And there's also one lamb that's got a ball on it, um, as in a testicle. So we're going to run them into the shed, give them a clean up, and we'll whack a ring around that testicle so that'll drop off. Um, and yeah, we'll continue going along as we are. Uh, we've just brought those few lambs that um, had a little bit of strike on them and a couple of ones that had the testicles still into the shed. Uh, Dad will just give an explanation as to what the hell we're doing and why <laughs> we're doing it. Ah, oh, well, viewers, seeing it's sort of been wet and humid again. Um, there's a couple here that are sort of candidates for what we call fleece rot on their wither behind their neck. One's got a bit of fly strike on its bum, so we'll fix him up all right. But there's a couple I'm just going to have to trim up a little bit and put some uh, fly powder on to um, try and stop it from spreading. I'd like to leave and go for another month before I shore them, or got them shorn. But if we keep getting weather like this, it's a recipe for disaster because the flies get in there and they'll just have body strike everywhere. It's not much chop, so we're going to clean these few up here. One of them's got, we've let go because we only found one testicle in him when, we, when he was a lamb and he's still only got one. So I'm going to put a ring on him. An old mate over there in the corner, well, we must have missed one nut when we marked him so I'm just going to pull him out and um, put him in the hospital paddock with the other rams and a few pets and bloody whatnot. When, he, when we send his breed which is white Suffolk to market we'll chuff him off on the truck as well so that's what we're aiming to do now. Yeah, yeah well Cam said about the weather well <laughs> it is supposed to be summertime we had a few warm days there. Friday, Wednesday, Thursday and Wednesday got a little bit warm, but 
If it's hot like that, it's not a drama. But when you get weather like this, what we're having today, which is sort of a cross between a heavy fog and a light mist, uh, but it's not cold, and all this in the back of their necks, where the fleece rot starts, when it warms up a little bit again, the flies get in there and they lay their eggs and that's when the strife begins. So you can jet, um, yeah, jet the sheep, which is you run them through uh, a spray race, or I think you can get stuff now, because I've been out of it for that long. I think you can get now that you can just pour on with a handheld drench gun along their back and that's supposed to stop them too. But, uh, we keep getting in trouble like that where well, we might have to look at doing something like that because doing it the way we're doing it now has got whiskers on it. So, yeah, that's about it. G'day viewers, back again. Old Cecil Beater Mills here to stuff up with his bloody camera. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This one's been touched up before. You can see where his fleece rider has been. We've just brought him in to make sure that he's not getting any more I'll give him a bit more of a trim up around there and put some of that powder on and might give its bum a bit of a trim too. He's not fly blown there but I just want to make sure up here because that's where it starts with this humid wet weather and it comes out warm again which we might be right this week because it's supposed to be a bit cool. But that's where it all starts. The flies lay their eggs in there the maggots get about, then they just travel all over the body. Not much chop. This one here is the one that's still got its nut or nuts. It's one or nut. nut. So we use that elasticator thing, which is just a rubber ring. And you put it around there and it cuts off the circulation and it should just fall off. <laughs> and we put this spray on here, it's just like an antiseptic sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah.
already know, as you can see, there's the mob. Uh, Molly, the fat little sheepdog, is just about 100 of them out to the gate, which is just there. You won't be able to see it, I don't think. But they're just making their way through it now into the laneway. Hopefully they'll make their way back up to the paddock we want them in and that'll be happy days. Righty-o, so I just pushed this mob up, the ewes up into this paddock. Um, they're all back home, safe and sound now. So, shut the gates on these ones, and we'll go sort out the lambs and those weathers. So we just let the lambs out then. They're just there running the yard. Dad's just sorting out these weathers. And we're just gonna run the weathers in the, with the lambs as well. And uh, yeah, they can just stay together because there's such a low number of weathers. I don't think it really is gonna matter too much. So he'll let them out to, into the, with them. All right, now they've got those weathers and those lambs together. They're just gonna have a chew in that little paddock there and around the yard and they can just have a tidy up for now, clean up any grass and whatnot that's around. So we'll probably call that it for today. Um, yeah, finished up all that sheep work and that was good. Got them lambs weaned off and Dad will run them out later to a separate paddock as he stated at the start of the video. So yeah, we'll leave it where it is for now and I'll catch us in the next one. So thanks for watching everybody. See you later.